These wines are from Oregon, and none of them are Pinot Noir. What the heck is going on? This is Wine Unpacked, where we explore the world of wine, one box at a time. So the wine I have today is called Trouvert. Now, I was trying to figure out who the heck Trouvert is, and I flipped the bottle around to the back and I saw it said, produced by Lange Winery. Now, Lange was actually a classic Oregon winery. It was born in Oregon in the 1980s. Kind of like yours truly, actually. And this winery specializes in Pinot Noir and Pinot Gris wines. Their other label, this Trouvert, their second label, could be a more prestigious wine, a more value wine, or just something totally different. So I was looking around and trying to figure out why, and I think they bottled this under a second label because it's just something totally different. Let's find out what these wines are all about. Trouvert Indigene 2019. Taking a look at this wine, this looks to be a pale straw color. On the nose, pear, yellow apple, a little bit of pine needle, a whiff of lemon cake, and thyme. Let's give it a taste. Wow. Actually, a richer, more juicy style of white wine, although it is dry. It almost has a grapefruit, like a pithy grapefruit-like finish. Now, I was looking up this wine, and there's two things that's interesting about it. It is a Pinot Gris, but the grapes that these vines are making are actually white in color, so it's a mutation of Pinot Gris. And if you know Pinot Gris, it actually looks much more like a red grape. Now, and then the other thing that I found interesting about this wine is it ages in neutral oak barrels. And that might be what's contributing to the richness in the palate and the texture of this white wine. Trouvert Syrah 2017. Taking a look at this wine, gosh, I can't see through it. This looks to be a deep ruby color. On the nose, blackberries, menthol, roasted meat, new leather, and a whiff of vanilla. Let's give it a taste. <sighs> Tannin. This wine has high tannin, high, high, medium high acidity, and boy, a big, big body. This is a surprising wine because it is not Pinot Noir. It is Syrah, and it's grown in a region that not very many people know about called Umpqua Valley. This area is actually in Southern Oregon, way south of the Willamette Valley, in a region that's up and coming for Rhone style varieties, which if you know a thing or two about the Rhone, Syrah is one of those grapes. What's surprising about this wine for me is the amount of color I'm seeing in the glass and the high intense tannin. Those are two great indicators of age worthiness in a wine like Syrah. Trouvert Tempranillo, 2018. This puppy is a deep ruby color. On the nose, a little bit of raspberry, violets, fresh dill, almost like dried tobacco leaf and a whiff of blueberry vanilla. Let's give it a taste. Good lordy. This taste palette keeps going and going and going. And this wine is not small, it's big. It has full tannin, it's got lots of acidity, and bah, the body is off the charts. Tempranillo in Oregon is very rare. In fact, this wine also comes from Southern Oregon from the Umpqua Valley. This area is very interesting and the climate is very different than what you'll find in the Willamette Valley, which is why we can get away with a wine grape that traditionally grows in Spain. Whoa. I think it just goes to show that what's happening in Oregon isn't just the Willamette Valley. These wines from Umpqua Valley show a totally different climate and style of wine that you would normally expect from Oregon, which is standard edition Pinot Noir. And I like to see Syrah and Tempranillo popping up in what's happening in Oregon because it's exciting to see what the potential can be here. If you like what we're doing, remember to subscribe. That's winefolly.com slash subscribe. We have an incredible wine learning newsletter that you need to be part of. And if you are a winery making fascinating, compelling wines from around the world, we're interested in finding out more. Check out the link in the description below. All right, until next time, I love y'all. Peace out.